Hi guys and welcome back to the workshop uh, and I wish I could say the weather has improved but one week on from my last video um, and it hasn't it's wet it's cold it's windy hence the uh, crocheted top trying to keep warm this is just a short video and it's to explain why I haven't really posted the video of the start of or the restart of the mystique building um, but I'll explain why so as you know, I built the Warbirds Replicas Focke Wolf 190. Uh, very successful, uh, flies beautifully. But in order to launch it, it's got to be hand launched. And I don't always have a flying buddy with me who's willing to hand launch. So I utilized a dolly that I built several years ago for mainly flying uh, Delta Wing pushers. And it wasn't really ideal if you've seen the videos of the Fokker were flying, it wasn't that successful flying off the dolly. Anyway, it resulted in a nose over, breaking the prop, and I thought, right, that's it, I've got to build a new dolly for the plane. So that's what I've been doing in the last few days, building one, and I'm going to show you what I did. So here is the sketch that I did of the parts that I need to design in Fusion 360 to enable me to 3D print them. And this is the result of what I did in Fusion 360. And this is then being printed on my Bamboo Labs X1C. Parts that came out were these. So this is the, the dolly that I've replaced the other one with, you can see. Um, very simple shape frame. But all the parts on it are either um, 3D printed or laser cut. So the 3D printed parts include the axle brackets here, the tube holders that join the cross members, uh, the rear wheel holder there you can see, and then the laser cutting involved the foam mounts that the wing goes on the nose is supported on there and the tail the idea being that the plane is supported as you can see there on the wings to stop it rocking over left to right and on the nose it's supported on the block there uh, to stop it nosing over um, on power up and obviously the tail is held in place there to stop it uh, dragging on the ground but also moving from right to left so that's how we look at it there that's how she is so I'm gonna fly it tomorrow and hopefully uh, it'll be good we shall see but the great thing with the uh, the frame the new dolly is I can easily store it by hanging it on uh, there on a rack it's very lightweight so we'll I uh, won't impinge the thrust that was a big problem with the previous dolly was that it was quite weighty so the plane had to get over the weight of the dolly plus itself to gain takeoff speed um, Plus, also, it was very unstable. So with this one, hopefully, fingers crossed, it should be okay. Anyway, this is just a short video to show you what I've been up to in the last few days. As before, please subscribe if you haven't. Like the video down below. Any comments, please add, and I'll get back to you on that. See you soon.